What is poppin', guys? It is your boy, Steven, here, and we are back for the first week of our third draft for the APA Academy. Um, I'm not doing a draft analysis just because I've been dumb busy with work. Uh, so real quick, I'll go over the um, the mods that I drafted for my third draft. I have Celesteela, Mega Altaria, Victini, Amoongus, Empoleon, and Kelder, Alolan Raichu, Palisand, Skuntank, Porygon Z, and Armaldo. Um, the team was a lot of fun things that I wanted to use and plug up some holes for playoffs. That's basically it. Um, real quick, this week we play Tony in the Buffalo Drills. Let me pull up his roster real quick. He has got the... Aptos, Milotic, Silvali, Registeel, Mega Beedrill, Dugtrio, Mimikyu, Scrafty, Rotom, Heat, Golbat, and Whimsicott. My team for him is going to first off consist of Pancakes, the Alolan Raikou, um, so we got Thunderbolt, Electric Train, Psychic, and Calm Mind. Calm Mind is there to set up on Zeptos, so we don't take any damage from its sex. Psychic is there for Stab, Thunderbolt is there for other Stab, and we basically hit everything on the team super duper hard with, um, Thunderbolt Psychic. Uh, we are also running the Alo Regium Z, and we can turn our Thunderbolt into a Garen Paralysis or a Fat Nuke. Um, we have Electric Terrain. If he wants to like double out into Doug Trio, and we go for Electric Terrain. We then outspeed the Doug Trio, and we live a Sucker Punch always. Next up, we have Ma, the Celesteela, Leftovers, Beast Boost, Sub, Deep Seed, Heavy Slam, Earthquake, uh, Max HP, four attack with the Adamant Nature, so we get an attack boost if we get a knockout, 28 defense, 44 special defense, and 180 speed. Uh, the speed was to outspeed a little bit of a little speedy Milotic to sub on it um, and it can't break our sub with anything and then we kind of just lead seed and do our Celesteela thing from there. Um, he does have double electric so a lot of the times I feel like he'll be switching out into those electrics so I can sub and then just lead seed or I can just straight go for the lead seed and then pivot out into my Raichu or something to eat up the Volt Switch. Uh, next up we have Duck, the Porygon Z. Adaptability, Scarf, uh, Shadow Ball, Tri, tri Attack, and Thunderbolt. This is uh, the Mikyu check, kind of, because he can't Shadow Sneak me. Uh, I always outspeed him because of Scarf. I always outspeed, I always outspeed a... What was it? I always outspeed a Dugtria, and I always outspeed a Mega Beedrill. Um, we are modest, so we got a big old, a big old special attack stack coming off adaptability. Uh, he has Registeel though, and Registeel just beats this, so maybe we probably have to check that if it comes. Uh, next up we have Hercule, the Kinkelder AV, got Strain Punch, Stone Edge, Muck Punch, Poison Jab. Poison Jab is there for the Mimikyu. Um, wanted knockoff for the Milotic, but Stone Edge is too important to hit the Dose and the Rotom Heat. Frame Punch is there to heal, and then Mach Punch is there to pick weakened things off. Uh, special Defense Investment is to be as bulky as possible on things like Zapdos, things like Rotom Heat. Uh, the Speed, I believe, the Outspeed Registeel, maybe? Something like that. Uh, next up we have Empoleon, King Wind uh, with the Shed Shell, Torrent, South Park, Roar, Scald, Blast Cannon. Uh, super defensive. It is my Mimikyu check. Uh, let's see where he's like Z Drain Punch. Um, we take any hits that Mimikyu goes for. The Shed Shell is so we are not trapped by Doug Trio, so Doug Trio cannot weaken us for Mimikyu. Um, we also are able to set rocks up pretty easy on things like my Lodic, things like Registeel, even things like Mega B Drill. Um, aside from Drill Run, not touch us. Um, last but not least, we have Small, the Victini, Expert Belt, Victory Star, uh, Bolt Strike, B-Create, Sub, Dazzling Gleam. Um, the Special Defense, because I'm sure that's what you're wondering most about, is to live like a pseudo-offensive Milotic Surf. Um, we never get one hit KO'd by it. The attack investment is so we, uh, we two hit KO, non-Flame War Milotic. Um... Even though every Milotic in the history of the entire world is fucking Flame Orb nowadays. But if you like that, 
So, without further ado, let's get into the battle versus my boy Shady. Check out his recording. Wait. So as you can see, he brought both the electrics. He brought the Ready Steel for Porygon 2. Porygon 2, Porygon Z. He brought the Beedrill. He brought the Milotic. And he brought the Doug Trio because, of course, he brought the Doug Trio. We have a Victini. Now, um, I am going to elect to, I believe, lead with King Kelder. Um, yes, I do lead with King Kelder because I thought he would either lead with Rotom or Registeel. And Rotom, if I let anything else, uh, definitely gave me trouble. So King Kelder was the best way to deal with that because I was gut, so he couldn't burn me. Uh, I was AV, so he couldn't do damage to me. Um, and I had uh, like I had like Stone Edge to hit Zapdos if he wanted to. He's gonna lead Jewel Pods the Ready Steel. <laughs> funny name. I like that. Uh, so we're gonna have to go ahead and we're gonna lead our Hercule the Kinkelder here. So it's Jewel Pods versus uh, our fighting type. So he's gonna want to switch out. I just go straight for the Drain Punch. Um, I almost wanted to click Stone Edge, but we didn't. Uh, now here, if I had Knock, this would have been amazing because that would have been my play every single time, and we would have got rid of this dumb Flame Orb. But we do not, and that is okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch out right into my Empoleon. Uh, it eats up Surf from this thing any day of the week. I mean, Kinkelder basically eats that too. However, I'm not doing much with Drain Punch. And if I go Empoleon here, I don't take a lot and I can get my rocks up. You get like 30 points of damage almost. So it was a good amount of damage, but... Um, not enough to scare us. So we're gonna go ahead and we click our stealth rock here. As he goes back into Registeel, uh, excuse me for one second. Mm. Sorry. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch out and we're gonna get in our Victini. Uh, my plan here was to get in the Victini before the rocks and when he doubled, I was terrified. I thought he was going right into Doug Trio, but he does not. He goes into Orange Fanta, these after the shout out to Orange Fanta because it's trash. Now, shout out Sweet Tea right here. The nectar. The nectar of the gods. Anyway, I'm going to click sub because he doesn't want to take um, very offensive V creates if that's what I am. So I do predict him to switch into the Rotom um, or even the the Doug Cho potentially. So we get up our free sub. Uh, well, that's for death. Rotom can never break our substitutes. And I go right for the Bolt Strike. Um, I didn't have anything to touch the Rotom, so I just had to click it and chip it. Um, but he does go into the Beedrill, and he sacks the whole Beedrill. The whole Beedrill. Uh, I had a Cell Steel, so that Beedrill really was not doing anything ever, ever, ever in this whole game. So the Beedrill is gone. Uh, he's going to go into Mavis the Milotic. Uh, and Bolt Strike is a Bolt Strike is a two-hit KO from here. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Bolt Strike. Um, he is going to live on uh, a little bit of health. Not a big deal. We knew he would live it. Um, he is going to go ahead and go for Surf. Obviously a smart play. Uh, just break the sub. Don't try to recover. Don't do anything. You can't play with threats like that. Um, also good bring on his part for Surf over Scald for Guts King Kelder. Um, so he's going to pop my sub. And here I was deathly afraid of Doug Trio. So. I switch out into Porygon Z because my thought process here is if he surfs, I live. If he recovers, I am in with a mon that deals a lot of damage to this Milo. So he's just going to go ahead and he's going to go for the surf. Um, he's going to get taken out. I believe that kill will go to Porygon Z because that is how we do things here in the APA Academy. Um, a mon doesn't like Life Orb or something. They just if whatever it's across gets the kill. Um, he's going to go into Ready Steel and I cannot touch that thing. So I'm going to switch out and I'm going to go into my Victini. He predicted me to go into my Stone Steel, so he was going to try to get as much damage out as he could on that thing with Seismic Frost. A respectable play. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go for another sub. He hadn't revealed anything uh, that could break my sub on Ready Steel. And even if he did, he did not want to stay in, click it, and then risk recreate next turn because he needs that thing very much so for my Porygon Z. I'm going to go back into Rotom and I'm behind a sub. This Rotom cannot break my sub. I also cannot touch this Rotom so we um, at this point I'm expecting I have Papa Berry. So I know Vcreate uh, can do 25% but 
I need him right around that range before I go for the recreate because I don't want to not kill him and have him pop by a papa and be a whole nuisance. So we're gonna go for the bolt strike now. I'm probably still going for the bolt strike more, but we're gonna put him right above 25%. It's probably like 28 to 30%. And he's going to go for the second overheat and he's gonna miss. Now this is a big deal because that overheat would have broken my sub and it definitely would have saved him a lot of stress in dealing with this Victini. So now we're going to go for our V create. Um, and we're going to take out the Rotom. And our Victini is still behind the sub. Now, this is problematic for him because had this not happened, he can go right into Doug Trio, he can trap me, and he can kill me. Now, he has to go into Doug Trio and take Rock's damage to remove the Sash. And he's going to have to go for Earthquake to break my sub. And you guys know that it's not not a very bulky pokemon so we click the big damage button what's that move the exclusive 180 power nonsensical fire stab that this pokemon gets we go ahead and we click ourselves a recreate and we claim another kill ah that's just good um so is bikini so we kill the dog trail and he's going to go out into zapdos and He's going to take rocks, and he's going to go down to 51%. I'm going to save my Victini. I do not want it to die. Um, and I'm going to go into Lolan Raichu, because I know if he roost, I can Calm Mind on it. And if he goes for a Thunderbolt as such, uh, I do not take a lot of damage. I can eat it up rather easily, especially after a Calm Mind boost, like we're going to get up right now. So, last one. Spark Surfer has a really good chance to Oko a Mulky Zapdos. He's going to go for the Roost, though. Um, even if he Thunderbolted, it, it wasn't going to do much because of my plus one special defense. Um, so we're in a good position. We're plus one with our Alolan Raichu. We're going to pop the little Z move here. And Raichu is going to be surfing on that tail. He's going to be fucking ready to go. Look at that little cute ass. That is my guy pancakes right there, even though it's a go. But we're going to go for the uh, Stoke Spark server, and he's going to be flying in the air. I'm going to point. I'm going to point at the Zapdos. I'm going to say, go get him. And Raichu is going to surf through that boy and straight up Oko. Y'all want to lose the better electric type, honestly. Like, if we're being real, it's a little. Everybody knows. He's going to go into uh, Jewel Pods, the Registeel. At this point, I live at Seismic Tones. I had a better chance. I had a he had such move. I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt. It's gonna do literally jack shit because Registeel is a broken Pokemon. He's gonna go for Explosion. So, had I went Celesteela, I preserve my 6 0 victory over Shady. But, it's a big deal. The differential probably should have been this anyway because of his missed overheat. Uh, so, that was unfortunate for him. So, I don't feel too bad about not making the play. Um, either way, last hit before I end this off. Um, so, a recap, Victini is broken. That's all you need to know. Victini is crazy. Let me uh, bring this back so you can see something. Not a black screen. Um, Victini is a broken Pokemon. Absolutely bonkers. Bonker, bonker, bonkers, little guy. Um, we pick up the 5 0 dub. We snap our two game losing streak. This fuck a losing streak. We snap that bitch. Um, we snap that shit like Thanos with the gauntlet. Um, we're back on a winning trail. We are seven and two now, but a fuck ton of differential. We have so much differential. I can pass that shit out to help the boys make playoffs and still be fine. Um, my differential is bonkers. It's like probably almost 30 at this point. Um, next week we play Root and the New Jersey Bro Bats, and he's a good player. He is. Oh, if we're seven and two, I believe he is six three. Or seven and two. One of those. He has a good record, and I cannot wait to give him another L. Put one in the column for him. Chalk one up for the boy me. And I'll see you guys back here next week on Sunday for my week fuck, 10 of the APA Academy. <laughs>